elegant homes, stunning neighborhoods, and top tier luxury. Welcome to Abuja, Nigeria's capital since 1991. This was built to offer a fresh start away from the Lagos busy crowds. Abuja has become the heart of modern luxury in Nigeria. Today, we are touring the city's most exclusive neighborhoods where style and sophistication are known. Let's jump into the lavish side of Abuja living. Greetings, good people. My name is African Tigress from Kenya. Today, I'm going to show you some of the best places to live here in Abuja. And of course, I'm not going to be doing this alone. I'm going to be joined by someone who is an expert in this. So, hey. Hey. Hi, guys. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello. How are you, Lynn? I'm good. Welcome I'm good. to Abuja. Yeah, so tell us who introduce yourself. Okay, hi, my name is Gabriel Ibanga. I'm a luxury real estate agent here in Abuja, and I'll be showing us some couple of nice environments to live in, nice districts to live in. So we are in Wusetu currently, and we have this house right behind me for four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So Wusetu first. Let me introduce the area. Wusetu is a nice area to live in, although it's already commercialized because there's a lot of uh, restaurants, hospitals, is the center hub of Abuja. So we'll go in and see this property, which is the market for $450,000, and we'll tell you more as the video proceeds, right? All right, all right. African Tigers, this is uh, seven units of terraces yeah. in this location. So when the developer got this land, you know, I tell you, a lot of properties here are actually very old. So they had to buy off an old property and knock it down and bring up all of this. Oh, yeah. See, this is a terrace, a four bed terrace. You know, we have just seven units here. So, we say to a lot of people buying properties here are using it for short let. Mm -hmm. You know, I told you it's very, very commercialized now. The houses, when people moved into Abuja first, we say to was where everyone wanted to have a property. But right now, a lot of commercial, uh, commercial activities are going on. The best restaurants are here, the best hospitals, the best, almost everything you can think of. Schools. Schools as well. So, you're like just in the central hub. So if you own a property like this and you put it on Airbnb, do you know how much you'll be making? Because when you come into a new city, you don't want to stay far away of because course. you don't really know any place. Yeah, so, yeah, that's true. So you want to live in a place where you can easily get access to restaurants, nice clubs, this, this, everything you can think of. You understand? Yeah. So this is a terrace, very nice property. You know, seven units and guess what we have just one or two left so the properties move very quick so this place is mixed commercial and residential yes, yes. so commercial is taking it's it's the yeah, commercial activities it are increasing very, yes it was mainly residential but right now because everybody has things around here so mm -hmm. some things are turning to commercial it was a mixed use actually yeah so but now you hardly see people if you see a house here it's going to be very expensive so are there people for instance if i have who have property here that okay. they would I'll probably knock it down, move away, build a new house that there, and it. then change this into... Yeah, so they, they can... Because the, the amount of money you sell a plot of land in Wuse to yeah. can get you to buy three houses somewhere else. Ah. So let's say I've lived here all my life and maybe I, my kids are all grown and all of that. So mm -hmm. they said, oh, Gabriel, I'm tired of this house. I want to sell it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. And the cost of buying a land here is very expensive. Do you understand? Yeah. And you can make so much money. You can sell your small property for 500 or 600 million, just a small plot of land, yeah. and then go somewhere and buy two houses and even start off another yeah, investment. Another investment, <laughs> yeah. So okay. we say too is a very nice area. Let's go in and let me just show you one of the units. All right. What it looks like. Let's go in. Okay, so African Tiger, this is one of the houses. You know, like I mentioned earlier, it's a four bed terrace. Mm -hmm. Now, for this location, because it was already, um, you had to get lands in this location. Mm -hmm. Property prices are so expensive. They had to buy down an old building and knock off to build new houses. Oh. You know, we say today a lot of old houses, because most of the houses are now turning to commercial. 
So for you to even get a land here or a house here, it's very expensive because of the best restaurants are here, the best offices are here, offices, everything is like the center of Abuja. Okay. So residential houses now are hard to get. But if you see anyone, it's very expensive. Like this house is $450,000. <laughs> What do you think about the house? It's just a terrace. It's a, it's a lovely house. Yeah, it's a lovely house. It is. It's, it's a lovely. living room. They have space for dining. And I know we're not doing house tour, but let me just show yeah, you. Yeah, just a, a glimpse of what the houses look like. Yeah, so this is the kitchen. Uh huh. Fully fitted. Uh, you see the gas cooker, microwave. Yeah, everything. And then the washing, oh. <laughs> washing machine. And then this is called the. The store, yeah. Yeah. It is nice. What do you think? I like it. It's a lovely. <laughs> It's a lovely place, yeah. very close. But one thing I like about the area is that it's central. Yeah, it's central. So anything you need. So you can be here, you don't even know when it's night or because this place is always 24 hours. The barber shop, everything you're doing is 24 hours. Restaurant. So if you're living in Wuse too, you're not thinking of waking up to drive far distance to anywhere. Anything you want is just two minutes away from you, three minutes, five minutes away. Clubs, like this is where everyone is, who wants to be. So getting a property here is quite expensive, but it's also very central. You're paying for the location. You're paying for location. You know how real estate can be? Location, location, location. Of course. <laughs> uh, how long have you lived in Abuja? Okay, uh, it's been five years plus right now. Uh, before I used to come from, you know, go come to Abuja, because I like Abuja. You know, the thing with Abuja is this, from the landscape, the greenery, how spacious uh, the roads are, how clean the uh, city is, it's what makes you fall in love with Abuja. Mm -hmm. It's not a very busy and rowdy place like let's say Lagos for example. Yeah. So it's very calm, the streets, the, the, like a lot of good roads. Mm -hmm. Now Abuja is also where you meet a lot of nice people. I tell people every time in Abuja you have very great personalities here. The very okay. honest people to do business with and mm -hmm. i'm living here for a very long time i tell you it's i'll choose abuja over and over again okay yeah. but a lot of people believe that lagos is where the money is made yeah because i say lagos is a commercial hub of africa i mean that's where almost everything you need is there yeah even. but if you are the type of person that doesn't want to wake up by 3 a.m to go to work mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean abuja i know people that wake up by like uh they can wake up like seven o'clock and get to work by eight well, even in Lagos, you have to wake up by 4 a.m. just to get to, to work. To beat traffic. Yeah, to beat traffic, to get to work and all of that. So it's mm -hmm. stressful, you know. So how do people make money in Abuja? So Abuja, a lot of businesses. Apart, I know you sell property. <laughs> you sell property. Yeah. So what other kind of business can someone do in Abuja that would make Generate them successful? Money. So I tell people, um, there are restaurants that you can make a lot of money. People love to go to nice restaurants. A lot of people in Abuja love to go for uh, wine testing. They love to do some of those things. And uh, they like to drink tea a lot <laughs> in Abuja. Okay. And the business I also say is very, uh, very, very lucrative is, uh, I would say, shortlet and hotel business. Mm -hmm. Shortlet apartments, because most of the time, you, people living here are uh, coming to work, you understand? Mm -hmm. Like in embassies and all of that. So if you have apartments, running here in Abuja, you get to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So you have a shortlet, you have a furnished house to sell, you know, a furnished house with properties and all that, you're making good money, mm -hmm. do you understand? So a lot, club business as well, those things, hospitals, diagnostic centers, a lot of things, you know. Abuja, I would say it's, it's very, very diverse. You can do a lot and be, you know, make a lot of good money. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. And what do people do for fun here in Abuja? Oh, Abuja, there is a damp, somewhere in I think Usman, Usman Dam, something like this. Uh -huh. uh, Almat Farms, there's people in Abuja love to, just like the men, they love to drive uh, fast cars because we have the free Good, road. Wide road. We have wide, wide road. road. I'm going to yeah, show you some I videos of, of it. So yeah. uh, they love to, you know, drift a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> love uh -huh. to drift a lot. So uh, there's an Almat, there's Almat Farm where if you want to have like a holiday getaway, you can go there. Mm -hmm. and be friends with nature they have um, horse riding a lot of fun things you can do and if you love going out there's, there's a lot of things you can do in abuja this is metama 
So mm -hmm. Metama, unlike Buse too, is a very residential area. Now, a lot of, I'll start from high business people, politicians, you know, business moguls actually, and very diplomats, I, diplomats you know, embassies are very close by here. That's why even as you're shooting, we have to be quick. Because <laughs> there are a lot of embassies It's here. a high security, security area. Because they will just yeah. come and ask you, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? But yeah, Metama is that place that, you know, you want to live in. Uh -huh. Everyone's dream is, oh, I want to, when I have money, I want to live in Metama. Do you understand? Because of the kind of properties you get here. Is it new money or old money? So there are a lot of old money here, but the fact that, you know, even if old money, but you see the contemporary houses you see here, makes yeah. you always want to make more money. Okay, all <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and properties here are very expensive. You see a lot of high, big mansions. You only see the apartments we have are also very pricey. A lot of expatriates love to stay here. In fact, if you go to an embassy, they'll tell you the places to stay in, they'll mention Metama. You understand? Uh -huh. So, Metama is that place you really, really, and very, it's just two minutes to Wuse to, mm -hmm. two to three minutes to Wuse to. So, anything from here, a lot of Airbnbs, uh, so which, which one is closer to the city, Wuse to or Metama? So, Wuse to is the central. Now, mm -hmm. Metama is like, you know, the, your brothers and sisters. And for now, you know, you the Transcorp Hilton Hotel. Yeah. The five star hotel. So, Transcorp Hilton, there's a lot of business people going there. You know, the hotel is very expensive. Yeah, I was told it's the best place to hang out on weekends. Yeah, network. If you want to market, you want to meet your target audience, that's where you go to. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Metama is very nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's when it comes to like high value, high value business, yes, business people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I would say, you know, Abuja, you have a lot of uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of them own houses here as well all right yes so i understand that abuja is built in zones yes zones so yes. this is zone one or two so this is the district like this is the first district of uh, abuja it's like now we say those who say zones are different oh you okay. know these, these are the main but maybe we, we're not going to say zones this, okay. these are the main districts like, all right it's all part right. of the face face of abuja so mm -hmm. this is the face face of abuja metama we say mm -hmm. to all these areas like they are old Mm. All right, all yeah. right. But you see the streets, start roads all through, big, big properties like what you're seeing right here. <laughs> so which one is more expensive? Who said to uh, or Metama is more expensive. I will not lie to you. Metama is more expensive. You know, if you're buying because you want to live in, mm. uh, you people always prefer Metama because not only that you are just waking up to maybe, you know, if you live in Who said to you, can, you can be staying close to a club. The noise there will be disturbing. Oh, someone can bring a commercial property, commercial property next to you. As next to you, yes. But in Metama, you hardly have that problem of having a commercial property next to you. Mostly residential. Like I love the street lights. Everything is working perfectly. So it's it's nice. All right. It's a nice place. Let's Lovely. go check other places. Okay. <laughs> So African Tigers, welcome to our office. All right. So when you come in, you get to see our logo first. So I love is. I love the car, I love the film. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Right. So we have the reception where you could actually sit, get coffee and all of that. <laughs> we have the reception is here as well. Right. And then the workstation is a workstation. Okay. So we have more than enough agents to take care of your Find needs and all of that. All right. So we have a website. You've seen our website, yeah? No, I've not seen Check our, our website. website and Instagram. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Mr. Gabriel, how yeah. can someone, you know, when it comes to property, it's yeah. a very tricky situation, getting yeah. someone yeah. to trust, someone to deliver. So how can someone successfully mm -hmm. buy property here in Abuja without getting scammed? All right. So I would say for us at Comfort Homes and Properties, we're a company, right? And we focus on real estate brokerage. We're a property agent. So mm -hmm. I've seen people get scammed by even trusting family. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of clients in diaspora to tell me, Gabriel, what happened to me last two years? I gave uh, my family some money to build a house and I came back to nothing. Mm -hmm. So in order for you not to have that risk, we as a company, we make sure we do our due diligence from the developer to make sure you're getting the right property. Your paperwork is safe, everything you need about the property. And we also know the properties to buy for investment. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Do you understand? If you're trying to invest in a property, you're not just going to go and buy property far from the city. Mm-hmm. You know, the main idea of what I've been showing is the close proximity. Yeah. But people might have the money, but they don't know the expertise to go about the right property. Mm-hmm. Especially here in the diaspora. Yeah. Do you understand? What we even do sometimes with tour houses. You know my YouTube? Yeah. We tour houses and people see. You know, so sometimes when they come to an, uh, Abuja, they be like, hey, I've been seeing your videos. I want to see those properties on Ghana. That's why our office here, located in Metama, we are a luxury real estate brand. Yeah. We make sure we give our clients the best. Do you okay. understand? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's lovely. I mean, uh, what about people who want to build? So do you help? Like, I'm in the yes. diaspora and I want to build. I have, I already have land in Maitama or wherever in Abuja. So yeah. do, you, do you do that? Yes. So this is a powerhouse for anything real estate you can think of. So we have architects to be, we have engineers, we supervise projects. We also do luxury interiors as well. Like you see our office, it actually gave clients, most people that come to my office, when they get into the office, they love the interior work we do. And we also help them furnish their homes. Okay. You know, a house is actually where you want to come back home and be happy. Yeah. So for us, we understand the process of it. Okay. So if we're going to give you luxury related, we're going to give you a nice project, it has to speak comfort. Just like what our company name stands for, Comfort, comfort Properties. Comfort Properties. Okay, yeah. yeah. Go to five places, unlike let's say in Lagos, you can just decide to do two things in, in a day. day. But yeah. in Abuja, I can do like eight things in a day. You understand? I, I understand. Like yeah. in big cities with traffic, yeah, especially if you have an activity going on the other side of town, you might end up doing only one thing. You might just so here you can do one. everything that you had planned for the day, yeah, okay. And if you're a very good business minded person and you know what you're doing, you're gonna sell. You have your business in good location and you have something doing very well you're gonna yeah. say i know people that sell candles i know people that sell um, diffusers and they're making a lot of money okay. you understand if you, if you so fashion business is also a thing in abuja okay. you make a lot of good money as well so if you're into like quality if you have something yeah. quality <laughs> yeah, and just, fine you, things exactly you need to give them standard luxury mm-hmm. you know and also uh, we were discussing places to live in yeah i would say uh Guzape. Yeah. Also a nice place. Yeah. Guzape because it's close to Asokoro, close to where the president lives. So where does the president live? Uh, Asokoro, that's Asorok. So okay. like he lives in Asokoro. It's so just as it's called Asorok, but it's very close to Asokoro. Yeah. So um you have Metama, also Metama is a very good area. Yeah. You have Jabi, you have Life Cam, you know, and I we just finished seeing Wuse too. Yeah, we say too. Yeah. So there's a lot of places, Katampe extension. Which mm-hmm. is also very very luxurious high-end people live here okay know. so what uh what are the how do i put it like what are the distinctions of those places so like for instance you've mentioned uh socorro uh, yeah. Gusa, yes okay. so what what makes those places apart from proximity yes. to the aso uh, rock so what makes for instance Guzape a nice place. nice okay yeah. um say for example you live uh, in Guzape and you work in the central business district. Yeah. Guzape is close to the central business district. Okay. There are a lot of offices there. So you just are living very close. And Guzape, I would say the topography is what makes everyone fall in love with Guzape. Mm-hmm. You understand? The high mountains, the greenery, everything in Guzape is, stands out. And Guzape is a new district, which means there are a lot of new houses. So people always go to places where they have new houses. Modern. Yes, modern nice, houses because you want to Maybe you're coming to the city for your first time. You want to go to where you can see new houses. Yeah. Uh, you know, purposes that you don't really need to do renovation inside. Mm-hmm. Guzape gives you a lot of that. Jahi gives you a lot of that. Mm. Lot of new, new places. All right. So people love those areas, yeah. Okay. Can Tigress, this is Jabi. This yeah. location we are in is called Jabi and it's one of the best residential districts. I, lo- I love Jabi a lot. Why? Because there is a lot of things to do in Jabi. This project is called the Sound 15 Lakeside. It's the first waterfront project. Mm-hmm. Now Jabi is the only place that you have lake in Abuja. So the Jabi Lake is just like like you see right across us there. That's the Jabi Lake. You understand? So we have the shop right mall over there. There's a mall. So if you live in Jabi, you just need to go to the mall buy anything you want to buy you want to go watch movies anything clothes all of that there's a lot of good schools and the area is very very serene 
Okay. The roads, you see the, the streets, there are a lot of trees up there, you know, and then the, you have the Jabi Park where you can go to have exercise, horse riding, a lot of activities, you understand? But this particular project we are in is one of my best selling projects. You can see right across us, we have the terraces, the apartment and the detached villa. Oh. Yeah, so when we launched this estate, it was the first waterfront. We have other faces coming up mm -hmm. with longer payment plan, but most people that are living here right now, you can see the playground area for kids. It's a beautiful project. They want to live close to the lake. Do you understand? So yeah. the attraction with Jabi is the Jabi Lake, the shop right mall, the Jabi uh, hospital, and then there's a whole lot of things to do here. And a lot of expatriates prefer here because you know why? They love to jog in the morning. Oh. Yeah, so a lot of expatriates that when they come to Jabi, they love to wake up in the morning, take a jog round. Yeah, you know, there's a park over there where you can go do sports, exercise, horse riding, mm -hmm. a whole lot. Do you understand? So how much does a house cost here? Yeah. So uh, for now, a terrace here, uh, we started, it was around 240, 250 million. Now a terrace is over 400 million naira. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's almost double the price. It's double the price. So what people buy a lot is if you're buying the properties in this area, you buy off plan. Okay. Now it means you buy properties that are still coming up. Yeah. Because it's going to be cheaper. Yeah. To buy off-plan. Yes. Yeah. When you buy off-plan, the construction just started. Yeah. So you can key in and you have longer payment plan. Like the properties we have across there, we have 24 months. Mm -hmm. So we're not saying bring out the whole chunk load of money, but mm -hmm. you can spread payments bit by bit. Yeah. Do you understand? So properties here are very expensive. You're talking from 200 million to 500 That's million. That's in Naira? Yes, in Naira. Okay. Uh -huh. So in dollars, it's not so expensive. For our clients that are in America, or you spend uh -huh. dollars. It's not so expensive. I'm sure with $200,000, $300,000, you can get something. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have a client here that just recently moved from LA. She used to stay in um, uh, in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. So she recently just moved there. She loves her home a lot. Do you understand? It's so, a lovely place. Yeah. A lot of people buying into this property. I love our property. community. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. community. They're buying in. Like, I also have a client that bought in because he said he lives in America. He said, I want to buy a retirement home for me. So anytime I'm I'm coming back to Nigeria, I want to just relax, sit down, and you know enjoy. So properties like this is also very good. Jabi is a nice neighborhood as well, very nice. It's a new district and very nice. So, so let's okay. Do they have like standard home, like alone? Yeah, yeah, on standalone. Compound. Like you see this house, they are standalone uh, villas. Although it's an uh -huh. estate, what most people I pre I always tell people is it's good to buy in an estate, like a community where it's safe yeah security wise electricity is shared and uh, you know general maintenance of the estate oh okay. yeah because sometimes people that own these houses they are not in the country imagine if every time you buy property you have to you know do things that maybe the gardening and maybe you're not around you're not around oh, yeah the do you understand yeah. so what when you buy in an estate you can lock your door take your bag like you you travel a lot mm -hmm. so you need yeah, to buy I a house never, like even my my place in nairobi is in yes i come in, it's i can never be on compound because people will notice no activity yeah and they, you don't know they can boggle your yes, house yeah you know yeah, yeah. so but when you live in an estate like this there's a security armed security i mean uh-huh yeah, the gate, yeah. You saw them, right yeah. and you know gardening of the entire area maintaining the water watering the grasses you know um taking off the dust beans and all of that so you don't have to worry about that do you understand? Yeah. So it makes sense to live in a, a safe community. So how far is this one from the city center? So it's just 10 minutes from Wuse 2, which is the central. Yeah. 10 minutes from Wuse 2. Mm -hmm. And the roads are also very good. It's awesome. very nice. Awesome. So let's go check other areas as well. All right. But what do you think about Jabi? You like it? I like it. I like the I like waterfront. I like the waterfront. <laughs> and I love the villas. They look, they are yeah. well arranged. Yeah, and well. I see they are planted a lot of trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's, the gardening, the landscaping is great. Yeah, the clubhouse, you see the swimming pool, you see the, the gym. gym. Yeah. And you have a rooftop where you can sit out, enjoy. Look at the beautiful views of Abuja. Just come, let me show you. So Abuja, when I tell people Abuja has a lot of mountains, so uh -huh. you can and see like hills. the topography, the hills, everything is uh -huh. nice. So when you buy a property in this Jabi, yeah. you can actually go fishing, you can go jet skiing, you can do a lot of things, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just drive around the boats and uh, have fun. Awesome. It's awesome, my brother. It's very, very awesome. Very nice. I love the landscape. I just love, like you said, one thing I really love about Abuja is the greenery. Yeah. All over Abuja. Lots of greenery. I love that. It's not <laughs> a concrete jungle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's not a concrete jungle. I tell people every time I love Abuja. If you go to Lagos, you just see a lot of properties. You can't even see greenery, all of mm -hmm. that, all of that. So, 
But Abuja is the place for me. I love it. Awesome. Yeah, let's go see other ones. Okay. So, African Tigris, another good location I love in Abuja is Katampe Extension. Mm -hmm. Because of the high mountains, there, there's a lot of uh, high-end properties in Katampe Extension. There are very, very rich people live in Katampe Extension. Celebrities, you know, mm -hmm. high business people, even some couple of politicians as well. And very, very high network individuals. Expatriates stays there uh, as well. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah, the properties are nice there. In Katampe. What, apart from the mountains, I mean, the mountains and everywhere. What else? What else? So, um, that is where... And how far is it from the city center? So Katampe Extension is where you might want to say you want to have a house far from the city center, but because of the amenities you get to see in Katampe Extension, the roads are very wide. Yeah. Do you understand? And the properties there, because it's a new district, the amount of new houses you get to see there uh -huh. is a lot. Do you okay. A lot of new houses, big houses. Don't worry, you're gonna show. I'm gonna show you drone show. You're gonna see what it looks like. All right. All right. Houses, yes. All right. And houses that are very expensive, we're talking from 500 million to over a billion naira. Uh, those are the least houses you get to see there. It's very mm -hmm. expensive. That's like a million dollar yes, houses. Yes. So okay. When people got tired of Metama, they wanted to move to a place that gives them a feel of Metama, mm -hmm. but also very, 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 very uh, residential. So Katampe Extension is very residential. They call it diplomatic district. Okay. Yes. What about schools and all that? So you don't really have much schools, no much shopping complex, anything there. It's yeah. very like a quiet, it's like a suburb, living like in a, like I won't say country home, uh -huh. but it's almost giving you the country home kind of thing, you know? Okay. Yes. So does that mean that some of the people like who sell property in Wose, they would move? Yes. So okay. when you sell property in Wose and you have enough money, you can move to Katampe Extension and start a very quiet, it's very quiet. Uh -huh. It's very quiet, yes. All right, yeah. all right. That's lovely. Yeah, let's go see another location. All right. So, African Tigris, this is Life Camp. Okay. Now, this is also a very nice area for residential purposes. I would say purely residential. There's no much commercial going on in Life Camp. Mm -hmm. Like this estate we are in is called Bella View Estate. One of the most beautiful estates in Life Camp. You can see how nicely done it is. The trees are coming out nice. You have the four bed detached, five bedroom detached. I mean, one thing I love about Life Camp, you see lots of residential estates. So, what is. What's the selling point for Life Camp? So for Life Camp, I would say um, if you want to buy affordable houses, mm -hmm. it's not so pricey like all the Maitamas and all. Yeah. It's very affordable. Mm -hmm. So because it's affordable, people tend to, you know, working class people can easily buy mm -hmm. because you have properties ranging from 50 million a year, 80 million, 100 million. So mm -hmm. it's quite affordable. And also it's new houses you get to buy here because you see these houses, they are all brand new. Most yeah. of them built, yeah, you know. So new, new estates are coming up here because the land is also affordable. So mm -hmm. when you have affordable plots of land, people can easily come in, buy, build what they want, or buy into an estate as nice as this and, you know, living. You know, I told you one thing, Abuja people, we like living in estate communities, which is safer and better. So you see, like an okay. estate like this, this estate comes with a pool, it has a clubhouse, there's a mall. You really don't need to go outside sometimes. Okay, <laughs> so what other amenities do we have in the area? Life camp. Okay, Life Camp, there is a club, there's a place called the Clubhouse where you can go to have fun and all of those things there. It's a very nice place mm -hmm. as well. So, um, there are nice schools in Life Camp, yeah. hospitals. Most people come because there's a very nice hospital and schools, schools most especially. Yeah. We have the Stalamaris and all of those around here, mm -hmm. Life Camp. So most people come here. There's a lot of uh, filling stations, a lot of things, you know, okay. places to have fun. There's a park as well in Life Camp. Mm -hmm. So it's very nice, 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 and nice area. So, so far uh, we've seen, okay. And the proximity? Okay, the proximity to town, let's say I would say uh, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. 15 to 20 minutes max. Okay. 15 is not so much. Uh -huh. yeah, 15 to 20 minutes, you know, you can get to. Okay, lovely. Yeah, so we've seen different areas. What do you think about these areas you've seen? 
where would you like to buy a house? <laughs> my <Maitama. laughs> You like Maitama? <laughs> I'm sure you, you I have love to go Maitama. to the cream de la cream. <laughs> yeah, you go to where the money is. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the one that is the most expensive nah. if money would allow. No, you have money, please. Uh, African tigers, give us money. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me my money. <laughs> Just give me my money. money. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh well, it's lovely. I like it. Yeah. This is also a very nice place to live. I really love mm. the um, how do you call it? The greenery, the little gardening, the yeah. landscaping, yes. the cleanliness. Yes, that's very, very important. So very, very yeah, of of the places we've seen, I love them. I love them all. You love them all. But of course, I would personally I'm the kind of person who loves like on compound. Oh. Yeah, but not like at this point of my life when I'm traveling. Yeah. But maybe at a time when the uh, stage you yes. want a big compound. Yeah. Yes, big yeah. on compound and all, and all of that. Exactly. Just like the house exactly. is going to be. Yes, like it was happy. Yeah. I see, I see. That's good. Uh, all right. Okay. African Tigris, another location I really love is Guzape. Mm -hmm. Now, Guzape district is also a beautiful residential location. Yeah. There's no much of commercial activities going on there. And you get to see a lot of big houses because it's very close to Asukura as well. Okay. Now I mentioned earlier in the car that uh, Guzape is one of the nice areas to live in. Now there is a police station there. There is good access road network. In fact, they recently just did the road more, so you have wider lanes, like four, <laughs> four mm -hmm. lanes, and then um, the street light is working perfectly. It's a very nice area. And then the mountains, the the topography in Guzape is beautiful. Okay. Yes, and I love Guzape. So. Uh what other other schools is it close to the city yeah so guzape is close to central area i and then to the city is like 20 minutes there about yeah. but the properties they are also very pricey properties in guzape start from like 150 million upwards you okay. know they are also very expensive and then there are a lot of nice properties in guzape you know i would say people that love asukuro because it's close to Asokoro, they mm -hmm. decided to, oh yeah, let's 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 stay in Guzapi. So Asokoro, is it just the president's house or there's a neighborhood there where people also live? So Asokoro is also a very nice neighborhood and yeah. people live there, but I would say lots of government houses are there, government mm -hmm. house. And the president also lives in Asokoro, I said earlier. Yeah. And embassies, lots of embassies are in Asokoro. Mm -hmm. And you have few residential properties, but Properties in Asukuro is very expensive and the way they do the layout is the roads are quite tight so you can't really in and out like that but it's also a nice place. Asukuro is very expensive as well. Properties in Asukuro you start from like 300, 400, 500 million upwards. So can we now say that the most expensive neighborhood is Maitama? Maitama is the most expensive. I okay. wouldn't even... You can't even compare, you know. <laughs> I would have thought it would be Asukuro because it's just next to... To the president. Oh. <laughs> Asukoro is also expensive, like properties there are also expensive, but the fact that Metama has uh, the amenities in Metama is very central. Okay. That what makes it very, very also highly residential and mm -hmm. very expensive. Okay. Metama has everything you can think of. It's very nice. So can we say Guzape is new money or old money? Yeah, or... Guzape is new money actually because there is a, a new district and there are a lot of new houses there. You uh -huh. know? So when Guzape came up, people saw the opportunity to buy into Guzape because of you can buy your own land and build what you want to build. Do you oh, understand? So you can buy a land in Guzape, build a big house, a big mansion and live in. So your own design, your own yes, style. Yes, your own style. So that's okay. why when you drive into Guzape, it's like a mini estate that is very fine, very nice as well. And everybody builds a, a house better than the next. Yeah, like you're, so not, you, you're like, not going to just build it's like any you're driving kind to of Beverly house. Hills. Yeah, it's like you're driving to Beverly Hills, there are a lot of fine houses as well. So okay. why I also like Guzapé is a new district, like I said. Yeah. So there's room for contemporary designs, contemporary buildings, uh -huh. you know, and it's very close to Asukuro, close to Central City. So you hardly even feel because there's never traffic. All so right. people love Guzapé because there's never traffic in those areas. You just drive in and out okay. and you're anywhere you want to go. You can build your own big mansion. I have a 11 bedroom mansion right over there and yeah. it's selling for 2.5 billion naira. It's an 11 bedroom mansion, it's the square meter, you have a pool, there's a cinema, uh -huh. everything you can think of. That house is massive. Wow. <laughs> wow. You understand? So yeah. that's one of the things people love about Guzapé. You can buy a big land and build your you know, future home, the home you've been, your dream house. Uh -huh. Do you understand? So that's yeah. why people like Guzapé a lot. All right, yeah. all right, lovely. It's really nice. 
<laughs> we've come to the end of the video i'm sure you love all the houses you've seen you've seen maitama and guzape other places where would you like to buy a house um maitama just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the like number that. one i'll call it the number one address the, i'll call it that <laughs> you know i have a client that told me you know why i like maitama i call uh -huh. it is a zip code <laughs> oh, of course the zip code yeah. Yeah, you, yeah 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 no, when you send your zip code mm -hmm. you're like oh maitama maitama yeah that's like why are you buying pro why do you stay in maitama ah, ah, i stay in maitama ah, now ah, just that one that one you put your value you know you just show up <laughs> i stay in maitama you know it's not really sure but it's uh yeah it's, it's like quality when you stay in maitama you look like yeah, a business lady a businessman or something I mean, I mean your office is in maitama obviously so. <laughs> we have to be where the cream de la cream is you know? of course of course so i think for maitama where you want to see luxury also is yeah. there yeah, uh, exactly. And the other locations that you, let's say you're starting up, like I mean, life camp. You yeah. see, there are properties that yeah. are still not bad. And yes. You can see yeah. afford and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, one thing I love about Abuja is it's just the access to everything. Yeah. So you've driven around. You see, we were able to do four, to go to four or five places, and, and we're done. We were not caught do we in end, traffic do we end, no anywhere. Traffic? Nowhere. Yeah, that's what I love too. That's okay. Yeah, no so, traffic not noisy like you know this is where if you love peace or calmness this, this is, is a place please, to be if you want to come to abuja <laughs> come to abuja abuja is waiting for you it's a nice place to mm -hmm. start a family it's a nice place to live in work from home very friendly there's always 24 hours light supply internet is better as well so okay. everything you can think of in abuja i mean when you come I remain your favorite realtor to show you around. <laughs> to help us get houses here. Yeah, thank you so much. All thank right. You, thank you. Bye. <laughs> thank you so much. So we've come to the end of the episode today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you are to buy property or if you are staying in Abuja of the neighborhoods that I've shown you, which one would you prefer? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out Comfort Properties. You're going to find the link in the description. Go show some love and of course you're going to see lots of properties on their platform. So let me know what you think and I'll definitely see you on the next episode. And until then, bye-bye. <laughs>